A new survey of consumers and investors found that if equal pay for women in the workplace isn't a top ethical concern for businesses, it ought to be. Joining us to share insights on this as well as some of the other findings from Affleck's annual Corporate Social Responsibility Survey are two top experts on business ethics. Stephen Hahn Griffiths from the Reputation Institute and Catherine Blades from Affleck. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Michaela. Hello. All right, Catherine, I want to hear more about the findings of this, this study here and, of course, why equal pay is one of those top issues. It is a top issue, and interestingly, we fielded the survey early this year, so before the Me Too movement got started and mm. before the events we're seeing in Washington and Hollywood, most notably. We learned that 81% of consumers and 72% of professional investors say that you cannot call yourself a socially responsible company if you're not paying men and women equally for the same work. Furthermore, 74% of consumers say they will not forgive a company that pays men more than women for the same work. Wow, and I'm sure, Stephen, that says a lot about the company themselves and the employers. It does. It basically says the practice of good ethics has never been more important than, than ever before. Uh, ethics aligns with uh, the practicing of good corporate social responsibility. We know that's both a driver and a differentiator of reputation today. And, and companies like Aflac, great companies like Aflac, really understand that. Certainly. Um, and we know, too, a lot of millennials are really kind of dominating the workforce. And we hear a lot of back and forth of opinions on millennials and how they go about their business. But did that impact this study or did that change the ethics of, of corporations? Well, clearly millennials are important. They're about 40% of the workplace, so their opinions really matter. And, and, and even more so for millennials, ethics are, are trading at a premium when it comes to judging which company would you like to work for. Mm -hmm. uh, things that align with your values, your sense of purpose, are actually more important than the things you make and, and how you make money today. And that's truly the lens through which millennials look at you as a potential employer. It's a way you can both re attract and retain the, the best talent today. We're talking a lot about that relationship between employer and employee. And Catherine, what should companies focus on when it comes to being socially responsible? Is there kind of like a, a one plan that fits everyone? or? There is no one size fits all, but you must be authentic to your brand, to your core values, and most importantly, it has to be something that your employees can engage in and feel proud of. For example, one of our insurance policies is a cancer insurance policy, and for the last 20 years, we've been partners with the Aflac Cancer Center in Atlanta, Georgia, and over that time, we've donated $120 million to the research and treatment of pediatric cancer. Well, it's amazing that you guys are helping so many people. Thank you both, and if you want to learn more about this survey, visit our website, roadshow.com.